In a world devastated by violent extremism and giant mech dogs, two heroes will rise to take down the techno-Nazi menace the only way they know how, while giggling like schoolgirls. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are weird. Wolfenstein, young blood. Get ready to jib some German guts in this glorified expansion pack as you take the role of erstwhile protagonist BJ Blazkowicz's children in their hunt for their father and mentor across the same six maps in Nazi-occupied Paris and discover an alternate timeline where instead of having a deeply weird and surprising narrative, Wolf 2 just serves up 20 hours of shooting guys named Fritz. With a light smear of RPG elements and a sprinkle of microtransactions on top, and a co-op partner to f everything up for you, earning its $30 price tag by being about half the game Wolfenstein 2 was. But hey, at least this game doesn't make you murder a dog. Or not. Scour the barren cityscapes of occupied Paris for what little crumbs of narrative Youngblood has to offer. As Machine Games puts aside the extremely dark storyline of the new Colossus in favor of a lighthearted coming of age tale about two young girls and their first serial murder spree, where they'll learn all about themselves and their apparently genetic capacity for being unkillable. While they slaughter hundreds of people because they think their dad might be nearby, in a story that largely ignores what people enjoyed about the mainline game and just gives you a bunch more of the largely unremarkable gunplay, but with a buddy this time. Because nothing spices up hours of shooting gray guys in gray levels like making a friend do it with you. Discover Youngblood's significant tweaks to the Wolfenstein formula, which retains the old school core gameplay you remember. No regenerating health, no cover button, and no limit on the amount of massive guns you can carry but then slaps on a layer of bizarrely modern changes, like a barely there leveling system where all the enemies scale to how strong you are anyway. A sort of open world to let them use the same levels over and over and bulk up the game with side quests. A strange resistance system where you have to match the enemy squares with the right weapon squares and not the other squares, for science, obviously. Co-op actions where you give your sister armor by throwing the devil horns at her. And of course, the chance to purchase more things inside the game for real world money in a twist on the original gameplay that feels unnecessary and largely unwelcome. Ah uh, yes, I know what this game needs, having to sign up for a Bethesda account. Brilliant! So grab a partner and do -si do all over a Nazi's dick in the latest strange, unplanned bastard child of the Wolfenstein franchise that despite its flaws and missteps, still delivers a serviceable way to waste some afternoons with a layabout friend. While you talk about literally anything else. Did you hear that Steve and Wendy got engaged? Wild, right? Oh, it seems way too soon. By the way, I'm extremely dead. Starring The Hardy Girls, BJ Oldskowitz, Granny Grab and Stab, Amazing Grace, Emphysema, Silent But Lovely, Girl Boss, and they still did not see that coming. Totally Spies. Wolfenstein 3D is cool and all, but what if you could just put the entirety of Return to Castle Wolfenstein in the next one of these? I mean, how big can it be? Like 500 megabytes? Judgment.